tastes yummy. Oh, that one hit. Yeah, that one hit. It's good. I'm gonna sip this slowly. <laughs> to get a little tipsy. I got a pregame, you know, to go see Shania Twain. I'm the only one going to the concert, you know, because these motherfuckers, you know, they got to go out and about and drink a little more, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going by myself. I'm going by myself. Gonna go enjoy my life with Shania Twain, you know what I'm saying? And then afterwards, I'm gonna meet up with these girls and we're gonna hang out some more. We're gonna have a good time, but as of right now, pregame is the plan. We're gonna plan that shit nicely. Cheers, cheers. Hey. The plans with hanging out with them was by accident. That shit was not planned. Uh, we all just ended up in the same spot. That's where we hung out. But right now, I am not gonna miss Shania Twain. I'm sorry, she's 56 years old. She getting a little, she getting a little older, so I don't wanna miss out. Before she retires, shit like that, I gotta get in. because she's out here in Vegas and she was just trying to have a good time and then she's like, bitch, I gotta pick you up. I need to go to the hospital, like what? It's not true. It's like, damn, like really? That's what I'm gonna do with my time? It's not true. Yeah. Sprained my damn knee. I'm on pain meds right now. So this is what happened. I was at the Shania Twain concert, standing in one spot, dancing my ass off. Then all of a sudden, I twisted my knee. Fell over on top of the guy sitting next to me on his lap. Just right on his lap. My ass got up right away. Probably twisted it more because it hurt even more when I got up. And I apologized to the guy. I cried because it hurt like a motherfucker. Tears were falling down my face. Thankfully, it was towards the end of the concert, so I didn't miss anything. I still enjoyed myself, but I had to get wheelchaired out of the theater. And here I am. At my Airbnb, doing nothing in Vegas. The plan was to be here in Vegas for two days, leave tomorrow morning to Dallas, spend three days there, and then go back home to San Diego. That was the plan. But I can barely walk. I booked another Airbnb, I canceled my flights, and made a new flight to go home Wednesday. Nice little vacation they got going here. <laughs> Bam. Ooh la la, look at 
look at this look at this i went all the way to uh china <laughs> what the fuck i'm here in chinatown in las vegas nevada you know what i'm saying after spraining my damn knee and not doing shit the next day i got some rest i'm like you know what we going out right two days later we're going out so we're here at, got some coffee and got this what is this called again creme brulee it's creme brulee creme brulee it's creme brulee so the plan is to get a mobility scooter for my crippled ass because i can't walk so let me uh taste this and my coffee's already good you know it's mighty mighty good and i'll, I'll let you guys know what kind of scooter i got I got my x-rays done, I got my MRI done. I'm just waiting for my doctor to call me with the results of the MRI. I already know I have nothing broken. The x-rays came out fine. But I also got an MRI on my right knee. Mind you, my injury is on my left. But I've always had issues with my right knee since I was like 16 years old. My cousin kicked a soccer ball, hit my fucking knee. My knee went back a little bit and that shit hurt like a motherfucker. I remember the pain when it happened. I don't know why I didn't say anything to my parents. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know how I even healed from it. Don't remember, but I've, I've been having problems with that knee ever since. So it's been like almost 20 fucking years. And I've been living with this type of um, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Pretty much what happens is every once in a while, my knee feels like it locks and then... Um, when I kneel down to get something and try to get back up, it's, it pops sometimes to where I even sometimes collapse a little bit until I grab onto something and then I get up. So, something's up with that knee. I just don't know what. I got all my belongings in the back. Oh, those are my crutches I've been using. I am going to store my vehicle in storage. Um, I'm gonna take off work, uh, I think, for a couple months. I don't wanna wait to hear what the doctor says because my shit is still swollen. I still can't walk. I'm still using these fucking crutches. So he already signed a note saying that I need to take two weeks off of work. I already took off one, so that's three weeks total. Um, he said until further notice, so until he gets the MRI, the MRI results. Regardless of what he says, I'm still gonna take two months off of work and I'm just gonna let it heal to its To its hundred percent, to its fully, till it, to, till its to its fullest potential. So I'm going back to Illinois, back home. I'm gonna stay with my parents and try to heal as much as I can and just store all my stuff here in Cali, which means I will be coming back to Cali. I want my next assignment to be in Cali again because I wanna make more money again. And then from there, we'll see. I mean, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Pero pues no. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord, what is that, my potatoes? Papa, si camote. Nice. Apparently, that ran out of uh, gas. So my mom has to use the little grill. Yep. <laughs> We're in the backyard, chilling, getting some air because I've been inside all day. This mom, wanna say hi? Hi, baby. I have the bandage to keep it compressed. This is a knee brace I got from my right knee. 
because it the x-ray shows inflammation um, because of this injury I've caused more problems on it because I've been putting all my weight on that side and it's become weak so that's why I have the knee brace on I felt like this was the best option for me um, only paying $300 for storage a month that way I don't I don't pay rent here and my parents and I have help with my dog gizmo so I'm doing my physical therapy here so it turns out from the MRI um, the first doctor and the second opinion from the second doctor, they both agree. Physical therapy. I will be getting it uh, two times a week for six weeks until further notice. Once they see progress, once they see, oh, that, it, see that it's good, then I'm good to go back home. So the injury is a dislocation of the patella. My patella moved, dislocated, came this way, bruised the bone. It stretched the ligament, which tore and then it bounced back into place. There's a fracture under the bone. I'm not sure exactly where, is it the cartilage or something? I don't know, but I have a lot of shit going on in there that it ain't good. They don't recommend surgery because this is the first time that it's happened, but they said if the dislocation happens again, then the second time I would, they would recommend surgery. So, I don't know if I wanna dance anymore. I don't know if I want to work out anymore. That shit scares me. I don't ever want to go through this process again. That shit hurt. And uh, not working hurts. Okay, I was making good money. Now I have to get a little break from it. So, But hey, it could be a lot worse. So I'm still thankful that that I can just bounce back as soon as this is done. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of the way. Oh, the reverse is so slow. Oh, gosh. That shit is funny. We don't know what's in it. Pretty good. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. These were fucking fire. That shit was good. Gooder than a bitch. <laughs> Why do I feel that was not that much off the Because you were like, no, I'm gonna fight everyone here. For you. <laughs> most likely, most likely. Yeah, hey, well, let's just give her some uh, water. <laughs> Let's give that bitch some water. <laughs> Look at a little soccer player. Hey, you deserve this, okay? You deserve it, all right? Drink that shit. <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo! It's over! I told you! Baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Too early, maybe later you could show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy City, she blowing me kisses. No, ready to freeze, ready to go. So hold me down. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Windy City, she blowing me kisses. No. understand how happy I am in the way that I'm walking yes I know I'm walking with a limp and everything but I just came back from the doctor to check on my knee and he gave me this little brace that's fucking amazing it's keeping my kneecap in place just like the blue tape it's pretty much doing what the blue tape was doing except this one's more secure and actually keeps my legs straight which helps my damn hip because I've been doing a lot of this, a lot of, you know, leaning over. Because this is straightening up the knee, 
is keeping my my body up straight ahead and that's my mama by the way <laughs> she just made pozole you know what i'm saying so not only is my knee good but you know my tummy is gonna be good too you know what i'm saying i feel like i'm walking at a 70 percent type of way i'm walking slow because i still want to be careful um but this does help it keeps it nice and secure oh my god they should have gave me this shit a long time ago i'm doing little exercises to regain my muscle on my leg because obviously i haven't been using it so it's very weak i still have another four weeks of physical therapy at this moment and we're gonna see from there what happens while i was here living with my parents you think i'm not gonna take advantage of the fact that i'm gonna have me some true genuine authentic mexican food i mean come on my parents snapped every single day swelling on my knee is going down i don't know if it's the ultrasound if it's the exercises if it's time i don't know but it's going down thankfully um they want me to walk without the brace in the house and when i do walk for a longer amount of time to keep the brace on as i'm filming this it's been about a month and a half since the injury happened so it's getting there guys it's getting there slowly but it's getting there all right so let's fast forward a couple more weeks so now it's been two months since my injury happened i'm walking without any assistance so i'm not i'm so i'm no longer depending on a crutch a brace no nothing i saw my doctor and he said once i finish with physical therapy i can do the rest of these exercises at home he cannot release me to work yet he's gonna give it another month y'all heard me another month to recover and then we'll see from there where I'm at. I also had someone else to thank during my treatment. Gizmo. I mean, come on. That boy helped me throughout this whole time. And I am not exaggerating, y'all. I got proof. Look. Fast forward, it's been four months since my injury and now I can walk. I do walk with a limp every once in a while, only because I feel a little tension from the scar tissue. But other than that, I'm back to normal. I can't run, I can't really jump, I can't go too hard when I dance, but I can get back to work and that's what's important to me as of right now. And I did pick up an assignment back in California so that's where I'll be for my next assignment. I'm actually leaving in a couple days from Illinois. Kudos to me. <laughs> it's been a struggle, y'all. It's been a struggle. I'm in California. A certain city is no longer San Diego. I will let you know on a later video where I'm at. But <sighs> I'm back to work. I'm so happy about it, y'all. I just pray to God that this knee injury doesn't repeat itself. That's all. Just, God, please take care of me. And guys, thank you so much for staying with me and staying loyal and always just your support is amazing. And I just can't thank you enough, y'all. I gotta let this vlog go because I feel like it's more than 20 minutes by now. So I'm sorry, y'all. I'll let y'all go. Peace.